guess you okay. call me that. What's the most bizarre thing that people don't know about Big Brother? Probably that it even existed, you know? <laughs> it, 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 uh, it had a hot, short run. Well, not even short. I guess it went on for what, 92 to 2004. So Restaurants don't last 12 a year, years. And you guys lasted for a, for a good 12 minute. years. But yeah. we were kind of, yeah, under the radar for the first, and, until we were at Flint. We didn't really, we weren't on newsstands much, you know. We were just kind of at skate shops and a few newsstands, but really not much. Big Brother, before it, Larry Flint bought it, and then after it bought it, what's the difference between before and after? Or was there any kind of, if you had a little bit of money going on, did that help? <laughs> you know, the, the ironic thing about it is you think of Larry Flint as this sort of radical, uh, you know, crazy, let you do whatever you want. And yet the magazine got a little more conservative under Larry. You know, we had them watching us and with bigger news strand distribution, we had to behave ourselves a little better. Uh, so it was a bigger deal when we got in trouble, like it would get in bigger trouble. Right. <laughs> and so all of a sudden they'd start reading it and then we'd get in trouble and have to tone it down. And we would do that for a couple months and then we'd get back in trouble. And right. We were constantly going up to the ninth floor. Was it ninth or 11th? Third. Well, th when you're in trouble, you oh, go Oh, when you're in trouble, you go up to nine. Nine. Ninth floor, right. Now, I've been on nine a, a yeah. hundred times. Yeah, we were on third. We were on third, and then we got demoted and kicked down to the second floor. where The second floor was like, the, you're the worst. Yeah. But I was on the third floor with you guys. <laughs> yeah, we were on the third floor, and then we got kicked down to the... Right, right, right. By the way, Larry's uh, office is on the ninth floor, Larry Flint, and you'd go upstairs, and you'd be in trouble. Yeah. It you'd was like in... going to the principal's office. That's right. Yeah. Now, I, w I wouldn't go to Larry's office. I would go to one of the executives. Don Donna Hunter. Donna Hunter or Jim. Oh, Jim yeah. Coles. Jim Coles. I know all the names, man. I'm yeah. like, I was there. I was there. I was getting in trouble, too. <laughs> and I was the one who had to go up. I was the only one who could talk to them. And uh, so I'd have to go up and be like, oh, I'm sorry. We won't do it again. And, of course, we'll do it again. But. Right, right. But it gives you guys good circulation and yeah. and notoriety. And it was basically the script to get you guys to go to Jackass, right? That's I mean, it. That's basically what it is. Like, you know, Big Brother, uh, we started making videos. Uh, and the videos are, were jackass with more skateboarding in it. And uh, it was basically, I took a bunch of stuff out of the, the videos that we made um, and cut it together a little reel tape, and uh, right. jackass was born. Right, right. Did you so. work also on boob and crap number two and shit? I did all of them. Yeah. Did all? Okay. I didn't do crap. Crap, I, I was gone. We were doing jackass when crap came out, so. Okay. And lastly, how was it working with Johnny and all the guys? I mean, do you guys are still friends? Oh, or, yeah. yeah. They'll all be here tonight. Everyone's coming, so uh, okay. it's going to be Did a fun Did you have anything night. to do with this documentary with Dumb? Yeah. I, uh, uh, I'm, interview. I'm I'm in it quite a bit, but I, I, I helped a little bit. You know, I tried to let Patrick, you know, do do what he wanted, but just uh, give him access and, you know, help with the added pay and stuff like that. My main question on any kind of documentary or film is why should people come see this film? I think uh, – it's a good look back at a, it, it was a magazine, like, what happens when there's no one telling you you can't do this? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and encouraging you to, to yeah, be crazy. Uh, what happens? And, and what happened was Jackass was born out of it. And, you know, this radical little small magazine, you know, birthed Jackass. That's basically what it is. Right. So... I guess that's the story, right? So that's people should come story. see it because nobody knows that. No one knows that, like, Jackass, we were all doing stuff long before Jackass right. together. Like, all Johnny Knoxville and Wee Man and Chris Pontius and Steve-O and Bam. We all were in a little publishing world before right. we were in the big right. TV world. Right, right. You guys still skate? Still skate a little bit? You know, like, uh, not really. Okay. Like, I, I still can, probably, but uh, no. No. Yeah, you know, I'm getting old. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it was awesome talking to you, man. Cool, man. And uh, good luck, and I can't wait to see the film. All right, awesome. All right. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, man. You too. All right.